Does your body go on that? My body goes on it. Oh, can you imagine? It's gonna fit me perfectly, you guys. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the DIY Designer. Uh, thanks for being here. If you have never been here, I welcome you with open, scarred arms. By the way, did you guys catch that episode when I burned myself at the top of the episode? This is how bad I scar. This is what it looks like. An upside down, like, boom, face. Super distracting when I edit these videos, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, today's gonna be a really good uh, video and it's gonna be another Halloween one, which is crazy because I hate Halloween, uh, which you know if you watched last week's episode. But I have a party coming up where I can do something a little bit like sexier. I'm gonna do the spider web dress that I made to wear when I actually trick or treat with the kids, but I have a totally grown up party to go to. And so I saw this shirt when I was on Instagram. Look at this shirt. I mean, can you call it a shirt? I don't even know what to call it. It's like a work of art. I thought that the crystal spider web was so cool and I love that it's like, right here. I'm actually going to do a black corset that I'm going to add the spider web to. It's going to be really simple because all we're really going to do is like draw the spider web with glue and then we're going to drop the crystals right on it. I recommend buying extra crystal trim. It comes like on a spool. So this was 10 yards on a spool. I'd recommend getting more than you need so that you can let each piece kind of dangle so that then you end up with this like kind of fringy dangly really cool spider web thing. So why don't I shut up so we can do it? Materials. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is use my glue of choice, which is Power Attack, and fill up a precision syringe. You just wanna go about halfway. You need less than you think when you're using the syringe because it applies it so efficiently. Now, the first thing I'm doing is adding that thicker crystal that I bought all along the top to create kind of like a nice crisp detail um, all along the top. You can see how fine point that precision syringe is. And the reason that's important is that once I lay the trim down, I'm gonna push down and I don't want any paint, uh, excuse me, any glue to kind of push out on the sides. You don't want any overspill. If your corset is really stretchy on the sides there, you might wanna hand sew those sides down because when you put the corset on and stretch it to clip back, the glue will pop. So mine isn't like that, but if yours is, you're gonna wanna make sure to hand sew those pieces down. When you get to the center of the corset, a crystal trim like this, which is thicker, isn't gonna be able to bend in a really sharp V, so you're gonna need to do it in two pieces. Cut the piece right at the center, and then when you do your next one, kind of slide it down so that the two pieces of crystal trim meet in the middle. Now, I could have stopped here because this was so pretty, but we have a spider web to make. I'm just giving myself a, an eyeball, really, really lightly drawing it with a crayon, but use chalk if you have it. The most important thing is to create the X, where the first original X is in kind of the place that you think the nipple would be. That's gonna be where your eye line goes and that's gonna look like the center of the breast. So you wanna make sure to center it and not have it too low or too high, off to the right, off to the left. Generally, dead center is gonna be a good look. Now I'm doing that first line and you can see I'm leaving myself a really long uh, like trim off the end because that's when I wanna create that little fringed effect on all of these pieces. I moved on to the left side as well because while I just have one, it allowed me to make sure that I was even. I wanna make sure my right and left are perfectly symmetrical so that my body looks symmetrical. Now it was time to do the X, right? Make my X. I realized that I needed to cut those pieces into two pieces and not overlap it. Otherwise, by the time I was done, I would end up with like six layers of crystal overlapping in the center there and it wouldn't lay nice and flat. So for all of these, you just wanna cut individual pieces. Once you do your main X, start to divide each of those triangles down the center to create smaller triangles. Just eyeball it, make them look even and you'll be good to go. All of the ones that are in the bottom half of the breast, that's when I let those pieces of fringe hang and dangle. Now I'm doing the part of the spider web that really makes it look like a spider web. It's sort of that consistent, rounded, angular piece that's gonna go around and around and around. Now I'll show you in a moment a really good angle on exactly how you create that, but it's really about anchoring the pieces in between the triangles and then letting it kind of dangle and drop to create those angles on each of the triangles you created. So here's gonna be a little 
little close up look. You can see that as I'm laying the trim, I'm just doing nice thin lines of glue. I even kind of like bended and waved a few of the pieces so that they weren't so perfect and straight. I really liked the look of that and I highly recommend it. So you can see there, I've got all my triangles and now it's time for that rounded spider web. I'm making little upside down, like little sad faces, just in the center of the triangles, no glue on the actual crystal trim. Let your crystal trim fall on that downward spiral, like on that downward smiley face, let it kind of hang down and then come back up to create the next one. The thing that's gonna really make this look like a spider web is those angles. So you wanna come up in the center, let it kind of hang down on the bottom. See, I'm letting it sort of hang. And then I'm coming back up in the middle, let it hang on the bottom, up in the middle. So all you really need to do is anchor it in the center. And then when the bottom parts hang there, they don't need to be glued down. They'll stay right in place. Cut when you get to the end and just put a little bit of glue so that your end doesn't fly and you can see I'm doing the same thing. It really is just about creating that nice, even, rounded shape. So there was some overspill of glue, even though I used those really tiny lines, and this is what I saw worked really well. First, you wanna scrape off any glue with your fingernails so that it's a nice flat surface, and then use a really good black paint. I love Jacquard black paint because it's super, like a deep, deep, dark, rich black. And I just went in there with a flat brush and just got rid of any of the glue so that it hides any of the mistakes that you made. Getting rid of the glue with your fingernail is an important step. And then the last thing I did, as you can see on the bottom, like the underwire the bust, I added another row of that nice thick crystal trim to finish it off, and that's it. I finished. This is what I plan on wearing underneath. Um, it's basically like a fishnet bodysuit with little crystals on it. Oh my god, this looks so weird in the package. In the package. <laughs> Does your body go on that? My body goes in it, mm. but it will stretch. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's gonna fit me perfectly, you guys. We'll I've it. lost a ton of weight. Let's see what this ridiculous, awesome thing looks like in person. I feel like my friends at my party are really gonna like it. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny focusing on my fate. I don't give a what you rapping, you been a fake.